In this video, we are going to talk about the median of group data. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to compute for the estimated median of a group data and appropriately use the estimated median in analyzing and interpreting statistical data. Um, median is the value that lies in the middle when a set of data is arranged in order. Again, the data is arranged in order and the median is the middle value. Example, in the data set 1, 2, 3, the median is 2 because 2 is in the, the middle position. The median class is the class interval that contains the median. So here in this example, it's a frequency distribution table. And alam natin that this is, this is already a group data because the data is given with class intervals. Okay? Hindi na yung exact value ang nandito. Na, naka class intervals na sila. So, this is a group data. So, here are the frequencies of each class interval. Yung 1, 2, 3 may tatlo, 4, 2, 6 may dalawa, and so on. Okay? So, this table tells us, or this column right here tells us that the total frequency of the group data is 12. Okay? So, kung i-add mo ito lahat, that is 12, and that is our n. Okay? That is our n. Our n. Thus, we know that we have 12 values. Okay? 12 values. So, alam natin na ang median ay yung nasa gitna ng 12 values. And that's between 6 and 7. No? 6 and the 7th value. So, uh, yung nasa gitna ng 6 at saka ng 7, that's actually 6.5. No? 6.5th value. So, if we are going to analyze that, Yung 1, 2, 3, yung nasa class interval na 1, 2, 3, may tatlo, di ba? So, that's actually the first hanggang sa third value. Yung 4 to 6 naman, may dalawa. So, that's the fourth and the fifth values. Yung 7 to 9, may apat. So, that's the sixth up to the ninth value. So, alam natin uh, from this one na yung since yung median natin is between six and seventh value, then therefore... This, our class median, is actually between the 6th and the 7th value. So, this is our median class. Okay? So, 7 to 9. So, this is the class interval that contains our median. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung median natin is between 7 to 9. Okay? And we call this the median class. Okay. But when we solve for this, this is actually um, there's actually a, a short way no, to uh, determine the median class of a group data. In malalaman natin yan mamaya without going through this process. Okay. Unang una, we need to construct the cumulative frequency column. So this is the cumulative frequency column. Okay, you don't have to do this, no? You can do this in your mind or in your scratch paper. All we need to have are these values. Okay, cumulative frequency. So, the cumulative frequency, uh, the cumulative frequency of each class is the sum, sum, kasi i-add mo, sum of the frequency in that class and all the preceding classes. So, you start with yung pinakauna, no, the lowest class interval. So, 1, 2, 3, that's 3. So, you start with 3. Ayan. And then, yung 2. Ito, i-add mo sa kanya. 3 plus 2, that's 5. And then, yung sagot dito, yung 5, i-add mo ulit sa 4. So, 5 plus 4 is 9. And then, yung sagot dyan, i-add mo sa 3. So, 9 plus 3, that's 12. Okay? If you, uh, if you can see, yung last value na cumulative frequency, that's actually the sum of all the frequencies. Okay? So, that's the cumulative frequency column. Alright, so to estimate the median or to compute for the estimated median given by the formula MD equals L, L is the lower class boundary of the median class plus N over 2 minus F sub M minus 1, that's actually the cumulative frequency of the class interval before the median class and F is the frequency of the median class times yung w naman it's the width of the of each class so that's actually the difference of two consecutive lower or upper limits so let's have an example 
So here in our uh, table, we have here a frequency distribution table that's, that already contains the cumulative frequency. Okay, so based on this, our uh, lower class boundary, okay, the lower class boundary is 6.5. Uh, okay, Det determine muna natin, uh, let's determine first our median class. Okay, median class. Let's determine the median class okay. before we can determine with, uh, uh, before we can proceed with the L and uh, the F because we need to determine first the median class. So, napakadali lang naman. That's just N over 2. Okay. So, based on this table, our N is uh, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 4, 9 plus 3, that's 12. That is our N. Right? So, that is 12 divided by 2. Okay. Divided by 2. And that is 6. Okay. So, ito yung gagamitin nating information to determine the median class. Hindi, hindi pa 6 yung median class. Ha? Yung median class, naka-class interval yan. Okay. So, we are going to locate... Uh, Dito sa cumulative frequency, yung cumulative frequency that is closest to 6 but greater than 6. Okay. In other words, parang one notch higher than 6. Okay. So, based on this frequency or cumulative frequency, one notch higher than 6, that is 9. Okay. 9. One notch higher than 6 because yung 5, uh, less than 6 na. Okay. So, that's 9. Ibig sabihin, our median class is 7 to 9. Okay? And we are going to use this information as the frequency of the median class. And the lower class boundary, the lower class boundary of uh, the median class 7 to 9 is 6.5. Kasi ito yung lower limit, no? 7. So, Yung class boundary is between 6 and 7. Yung nasa gitna ng 6 and 7, that is 6.5. Okay, that's 6.5. Alright. And yung F sub M, ito, F sub M minus 1, that's uh, the cumulative frequency of the class interval before the median class, it's actually 5. This one. It's 5. Okay. Ayan, and the class width, ito na ang frequency, frequency of the median class, kasi ito yung median class, ba? Okay, this is the frequency, ito yung um, cumulative frequency before the median class, ayan, this, and the class width, E minus mo lang yung 7 minus 4, 7 minus 4 is 3. So, we have 3. Ayan. And substitute these values into the formula for the median. Okay. So, we have the median. Yung lower class boundary is 6.5. Yung n over 2 naman is 12 over 2. Pwede na diretsong 6 ito. Diba? 6. And then minus itong uh, cumulative frequency before the median class. That's 5. Divided by yung frequency ng median class. This is our median class. So, ito yung frequency. So, that's 4. Times yung class width. 7 minus 4, that's 3. That's the class width. And then, unahin mo muna ito isolve. You, you may use your calculators. So, 6 minus, uh, 6, yeah, 12 over 2 is 6. So, 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 over 4 times 3. Wag, nyo, wag muna kayo magra-round off, ha? So, diretso lang, no? 1, uh, 6 minus 5 is 1. 1 divided by 4. And then, kung anong sagot niyan, i-times sa 3. Kung anong sagot niyan, i-plus sa 6.5. And the answer should be 7.25. Thus, the median is approximately 7.25. Okay? Let's try this. Given the frequency distribution table below, in which class interval does the median lie? So, hinahanap natin yung median class. Alright? So, unang-una, 
we have to find the total frequency first. So, the total frequency, i-add mo lang lahat yan. Ito, i-add mo lang lahat. And that is 47. That is our N. And then, we construct the cumulative frequency uh, column. Okay, so we start at 12 plus 10, that's 22, plus 9, that's 31, plus 16, that's 47. So this is our cumulative frequency. And then, solving for, the, uh, for n over 2, n over 2, 47 over 2, that is 23.5. And then we look for the cumulative frequency that is one notch higher, okay, one notch higher than 23.5, 23.5. 22 is less than, 31 is higher or greater. So, meaning, andito ang ating median class. So, our median class is 26 to 29. Ibig sabihin yan, our median is between 26 to 29. Okay? Ito siya, 26 to 29. Another example. Complete the frequency distribution table. Locate the median class and find the median. So, unang-una, i-determine muna natin yung total frequency, yung N. Okay, so our N is 13. And then we construct or we fill in the values for the cumulative frequency. Right? And then we solve for N over 2. 13 over 2, and that is 6.5. So, 1 notch higher than 6.5, that is 9. So, therefore, our median class is 410 to 419. Okay, now, let's find the median. We use this formula, no? Uh, please memorize this formula. Kasi mag magagamit nyo pa ito hanggang pagdating ng, pagdating ng grade 10. No? So, L median equals L plus N over 2 minus... Uh, F sub M minus 1 over F times W. Okay, substituting. Uh, okay, mawawala eh. Okay, sige. So, substituting our L, this, since this is the median class, the lower class boundary, lower class boundary is between 409, okay, 409, and 410. So, that is 409.5, okay, plus N over 2, that is 6.5. So, 6.5 minus yung uh, cumulative frequency natin before yung 9. So, that is 5. Divided by yung frequency ng median class, that's 4, Okay. Divided by 4 times yung class width natin ay 410 divided, uh, 410 minus 400, that is 10. Okay? And then, you can use your calculator to solve for this. Para dire-diretsyo na, unahin muna natin itong 6.5. Okay, 6.5 minus 5, and that is 1.5. I-divide natin sa 4. That gives us 0 0.375 times natin sa 10. Okay, that's 3.75. Saka natin i-add sa 409.5. And the answer is 413.25. Okay, so meaning this is our median, okay, or estimated median.